Hi everyone, today we are going to prove that a particular sequence is an arithmetic sequence. Firstly, we need to show that the difference between the nth term, denoted by un, and the term just before the nth term, denoted by u, n minus 1, is a constant, which is independent of n. Now by doing so, we can then prove that the sequence is an arithmetic sequence. Now in order to find the nth term, let's take the sum of the first n terms minus the sum of the n minus 1 terms. Or in other words, the sum of the sequence just before the sum of the first n terms, as you can see from the screen over here. Now all we need to do next is to plug in the expression for the sum of the first n terms, which is n squared minus k minus 2n minus. Let's open a huge bracket now. Now we are going to replace all the n's that you see here with n minus 1. So this will be n minus 1 squared minus k minus 2 n minus 1. Now simplifying further, we will then have n squared minus kn plus 2n minus n squared minus 2n plus 1 minus kn plus 2n plus k minus 2. Now, we will then have 2n plus 1 minus k, which is the expression for the nth term. Now, remember to prove that the sequence is an arithmetic progression. un minus un minus 1 must be a constant term. So, un is taken from the previous working, while un minus 1 is simply replacing the n with n minus 1 again, giving us 2n plus 1 minus k minus 2 n minus 1 plus 1 minus k. Now if you simplify this expression, we will then have a value of 2, which is a constant value and is independent of n. Thus, we can safely conclude that this sequence is an arithmetic sequence. Now moving on to part 2, we are given that u8, u4, and u2 are the first three terms in a geometric sequence. Now we are required to find the value of k. Now let's try to obtain these terms first. Now since the nth term is denoted by this expression, the 8th term is then obtained by substituting n equals to 8 into the expression. So on and so forth for the 4th and 2nd terms. Now since u8, u4 and u2 are 3 consecutive terms of a geometric sequence, it means that they are connected with the same common ratio between each of the terms. Thus, if we take u4 divided by u8, the common ratio that we get is equal to the common ratio when we take u2 divided by u4, giving us this equation over here, where we can then solve for the value of k. Now simplifying, we will then have 9 minus k squared equals to 17 minus k, 5 minus k. And by simplifying even further to find the value of k, k is equals to 1. Now coming to part 3, the only reason why a geometric series converges is because the common ratio is less than 1. Now imagine multiplying a common ratio that is less than 1 to the previous term. The resultant value will be smaller, smaller, and smaller, and the sequence will then converge. Now for this case, the value of r is simply 9 minus k divided by 17 minus k as taken from the previous answer, and this will be equals to half. Now since the absolute value of r is less than 1, the geometric series is said to be convergent. To find the sum of the infinity of this geometric series, it is given by the formula a over 1 minus r, where a is the first term of the series. Thus, the sum of infinity is denoted by u8, which is the first term, over 1 minus r, which is equals to 16 over 1 minus half, giving us a value of 32. Now, I do hope you have learned something from this video. If you have any questions or comments, do leave them down in the comments box below. And thank you so much for watching.